Okay, looking here at endocytosis, we're going to be looking at taking cell, things into the cell and how it goes about doing that, and how the process may differ depending on what particles the cell might be taking in. So under endocytosis, it's basically the plasma membrane uh, envelops small particles or fluid, then seals itself in the form of a vesicle or vacuole, which enters the cell. See right here, there's three different types phagocytosis, pinocytosis, and receptor-mediated endocytosis. Quick image of each. Phagocytosis here, pinocytosis here, receptor-mediated endocytosis. Let's talk about each in a little bit more detail. Starting with phagocytosis, kind of what this little image shows here. A cell engulfs a particle by wrapping around it, packaging it within a membrane, um, and classifying it as a vacuole. The particle is digested after the vacuole fuses with a lysome containing hydrolytic enzymes. So basically we're taking something in, sealing it off, and in this case destroying it, or adding enzymes to help break it down. This is being an example of phagocytosis. Here's another example of the process. We have um, this bacterium being taken in. Here's our vacuole, essentially here. We have our little vesicle being formed. Our lysome is binding. These little green things represent little enzymes. We see that's being added here to the phagolysomes, and then we're breaking that cell apart, and we're getting rid of the debris. This might be something you might want to think about for like white blood cells, taking in foreign bacteria and helping destroy it. This is kind of the process that they go through. Pinocytosis may look initially the same, uh, where we're having the membrane pinch and forming these vesicles. However, with pinocytosis, think of the cell gulping droplets of extracellular fluid into the vesicles. This is a little bit more water and ion-containing water um, step. It's not the fluid itself that is needed by the cell, but the molecules dissolved in the droplet. So while this is taking in water, it's really not the water per se that the cell needs, it's what's dissolved in the water that the cell needs. Because any and all included solutes are taken into the cell, pinocytosis, remember, is non-specific in the substances it transports. It's here, it's just kind of grabbed. Here, instead of grabbing a star item, it grabbed a little blue box, and a blue box was formed in the vesicle. And it just kind of pinched itself and took what was near it. That's an example of pinocytosis. In contrast to that, very specific is receptor-mediated endocytosis. This enables the cell to require bulk colonies of specific substances, even though those substances may not be very concentrated in extracellular fluid. So if there's only a couple molecules floating around the cell, receptor-mediated will allow those molecules to enter the cell, because as soon as it bumps into one of these receptors, it binds to it, and that's going to initiate cellular processes to help take that into the cell. Embedded in the membrane are proteins with specific receptor sites exposed to the extracellular surface. Here's our plasma membrane. Here's our little blue protein. It's binding specifically to this red triangle. The receptor proteins are usually already clustered in regions in the membrane called coated pits, which are aligned with their cytoplasm, cytoplasmic side by a fuzzy layer of coat proteins. All this means is that here's our protein exposed to the extracellular fluid, the outside, this yellow red triangle is binding to this blue protein. Here it's very specific. It, anything else is not going to bind. Binds and it allows it to be taken into the cell. Receptor mediated. It needs a very specific site um, of reception in order for this to be taken into the cell through the process of endocytosis. Exocytosis is the exact opposite of endocytosis. If endo is taking in, exo is leaving. During this process, the membrane of the vesicles fuse with the plasma membrane and its contents are released to the outer portions of the cell. Here's our vesicle. It's a binding now to the plasma membrane, and instead of sealing it up, it's now simply opening up, spilling the contents out to the extracellular fluid. This is an example of exocytosis. This is a good video to watch that helps uh, explain and goes over this process a little bit more. Remember, endocytosis has three forms. Phagocytosis is taking in typically food items, or in white blood cells case, foreign bacteria. Pinocytosis is grabbing in fluid um, with ions, and it's really the cells looking for the ions. Receptor-mediated is specific binding sites. And exocytosis is just the opposite of this process. Things are budding off, remember our Golgi apparatus budding off, and leaving the cell. They could be 
um, hormones, they could be signals, or it could be waste products. Either way, exocytosis is exiting, endo is being taken into the cell.